guys welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video i'm not sure what i'm going to title this video but it's going to be something along the lines of i messed up because i did mess up big time in multiple ways so basically this video is just going to be a little bit of a story time there's no actual footage in this video at all it is just going to be me and my ugly face talking so if you don't like that i would go ahead and leave <laughs> as you know i released my first kayaking video the other day turned out to be an awesome video i really loved it anyways that was an awesome experience so my brother also wanted to go so we made plans to go on friday and that's what we did i didn't bring my gopro because i just wanted to enjoy it and i honestly didn't think i was going to flip i didn't think anything was going to happen because i felt pretty confident and a little cocky so everyone else before we went out on the water decided to leave their phones in the truck I did not. Because of the fact I was kind of cocky, I decided I was going to leave my phone with me. Because, oh, there's no way I'm going to flip. No, I'm not going to flip. So, I take my iPhone X that I just got two months ago, and I left it in my pocket on the kayak. It started off all great. It started to get really, really sketchy. And this is also another reason I wish I had my GoPro. There's a bunch of boats and jet skis going around, and it was just creating horrible waves. To the point where I couldn't even paddle because I was so scared I was going to tip the thing over. Like, it was horrible. We made it out of that. And by this point, we were getting close to the end of the hour that we had the kayak. I'm, I'm sure y'all remember the bridge in the kayaking video that me and Ryan went over. We decided we were going to go under it as well. So, I went under it. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, before I say this next clip, we actually saw an alligator in the water. And I'm not talking about just a little small alligator. This was a big alligator. This was a really big alligator. Okay, and he kind of swam to the area where the bridge was. Not exactly, but he swam close to it. Anyways, we were going to go under the bridge. So we started to go underneath the bridge. All was well. I was under the bridge. Well, the top of my paddle hits the top of the bridge and it flips my boat. There was nothing I could do to save it. By the time I saw the paddle hit it, it was too late. I was in the water. And I flipped at quite possibly the worst spot to flip. I'm gonna put in some footage right now so you can get the idea of what the area was. See, that was a horrible place to flip. Number one, there's tons of gators over there. People see gators all the time. Not to mention snakes. And as we found out, tons of mosquitoes. So anyways, I flipped my kayak. I, I finally come out the water. I kept, tried to catch my breath a little bit because it knocked the air out of me. I was being, at the same time, I was being choked by my life jacket. That, you know, it's supposed to save my life, not take it. Anyways, I, I, I finally catch my breath. My dad was close to me, so he comes back to me, jumps in the water, and tries to pull the boat out and help me out. This whole time, I'm just thinking about, number one, why didn't I bring my GoPro? This would have made a wonderful video. Number two, my phone is in my pocket. I was in the water probably a good three minutes, three to four minutes. Now, here's the weird thing, okay? When I first got out the water, my phone was working fine. It was still playing music. I even took a picture of my flipped kayak. My dad ends up taking it to the truck. After he takes my phone to the truck, he lets me use his kayak because my kayak was full of water. And I waited on him. He told me to go on ahead. So I went over there with Aaron. And this is where it gets even more interesting. So my dad told me to go, so I left. My dad continued to try and put my kayak back in the water, but he couldn't because it was too filled with water. So he put it in the water and it just started to sink. So he, he just had to stood there. I didn't know this. If I did, I would have gave him his kayak back, but I didn't know. Anyways, me and Aaron, we started heading that way, away from the bridge. And then this big old boat comes by. I mean, huge boat. Aaron just did get out of his mouth. Wade, make sure you keep your balance. You got to keep your balance or you're going to flip. Not three seconds later, I see Aaron flip his boat. Keep in mind, Aaron was just burned severely bad. He's stubborn as hell. He didn't want to wear a life jacket because he said it doesn't look good. And he does it like the way it feels. So he didn't wear his life jacket. Keep in mind, before this happened, he told me he can't swim. So you would think he would have his life jacket on. Nope. So he flips his kayak. Thankfully, 
with his good arm, he, the only good arm he has, well, you, I mean, you only got two. Anyways, he holds on to the boat, and luckily, we were not far from the land. So at this point, I'm, I start freaking out because if he lets go of the boat, I don't know how I'm going to get him because he can't swim. So I immediately, I grab on his boat, kind of like I did with Ryan, and I start to paddle over there to the land. And luckily, we were so close to the land, I paddle probably a good two minutes, and he's able to stand up, and he actually gets back on his kayak. And he was all fine and everything. This was a very eventful trip, to say the least. Um, I really regret not bringing my GoPro because it would make an awesome video. But at least I'm able to explain it. In a way, though, I'm kind of glad I didn't bring my GoPro because I would have had it on the head strap. And when I fell in the water, I fell in the water hard because my my paddle hit, it turned me over. I hit the water hard. So I halfway think I would have lost my GoPro. So I had two major regrets. Not bringing my GoPro. The second one being not leaving my phone in the truck. Speaking of my phone, here it is right here. And a nice, lovely thing of rice here. I just got this phone, it, and the rice has scratched it up horribly. Well, it doesn't much matter because it's not gonna turn on anyways. I think it's shot. I, I think it's shot. And I've been hearing so many mixed things on what to do when you drop your phone in the water. Some people say put it in rice. Some people say rice does nothing. Some people say use a hair dryer, evaporate the water. Nothing has worked for me. Okay, yesterday, the most life I have seen out of this phone is I was pushing the power button and it flashed. That is it. That's all I've got. And I cannot get it to flash again. I don't know if there's any life left in this phone. So this happened on a Friday. Saturday, I was worried about my... Wait, 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 wait. I take that back. This did not happen on Friday. This happened on... Shit. When did this happen? I take that back. I take that back. This did not happen on a Friday. This happened on a Saturday. I spent majority of Saturday trying to get my phone working. I was so stressed out about it. Saturday night, I left it in rice overnight. In the morning, I was fully expecting it to turn on. Long story short, it did not turn on. But it Sunday morning, it did flash. The screen flashed. And I guess that gave me some false hope. We went somewhere Sunday that you'll see in an upcoming video. I left my phone in rice all day. I was so hopeful that when I got home, I was gonna have a working phone. So I got home, it did absolutely nothing. Literally nothing, no sign of life at all. By that point, I get, number one, I get pissed off. Number two, I'm upset with myself because why couldn't I just leave it in the truck? But the most frustrating part was not so much that I ruined my phone, I didn't have another phone to use. I had no communication with anybody, I mean, it, it just sucked. I did find a phone though. I found this iPhone 6 laying around with a wonderful, perfectly working screen. Is it that nice? It's, it's like a curved TV, ain't that nice? But I did find that phone, so I'm currently using this one. Now I'm hoping this is not gonna be the end of my iPhone. I emailed my phone guy that I go, I go to all the time to fix my phones. I emailed back market where I got this phone. I got it refurbished for only $200, which was an awesome price. It has a one year warranty on it, but I severely doubt this is gonna be covered and I can't blame them. I mainly emailed them just to see if we can get some type of thing where they send me a phone while they fix this one or I send this one back, I get a new one. I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to get something in motion. So I really like this phone. So it just sucks so bad. Anyways, this is not the video I made at all, and I know this video is not for everyone. It's probably kind of boring just sitting here. Maybe somebody will get a laugh out of it. Some, Maybe somebody will learn from it. But I just figured I wanted to make this video, and I also want to address something real quick. I haven't really talked about it on the channel, but my goal for at least the first month of summer is to get two videos out every week, Monday and Friday. This is my third week doing it, and I've been pretty consistent with it.